Nope. <laughs> okay. I think we are on track for getting the sword. Wait, where am I? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, yes it does. Okay, alright. I'm almost there. Don't we get uh, Last of Us on PlayStation 3 this month? Oh, on Plus. Yes, I made it. We're good. <laughs> yes, I have the outside spell. I'm going to use it. And, you know, we can walk back to Remoldar. Silver Shield is it. There's no Shield of Erdrick in this. I think that was added in 2? Oh, I want to try out my new sword and it gets out of the way. Haha! <laughs> Take that! They might put Rapthorn in. They put in the um, tower bosses from Roan. Yeah, um, Atlas, Bazuzu, and the other guy. Yes, thank you. All three of them got added to the uh, random dungeons in Dragon Quest X. They could just have the party fight Baby Rapthorn. Uh, I do not... <sighs> Atlas has a tendency of one-shotting me at least once in every game that he's in. I really doubt that we're going to see Dragon Quest X released on the Wii here, but I think that it would be pretty foolish if Nintendo didn't release it for the Wii U. 
I'm expecting an announcement for both Dragon Quest X and Dragon Quest VII getting localized. Uh, Bahamut, it stays true to its Dragon Quest roots. It's still more Dragon Quest than it is MMO. The parties are still only going to be four players. Even for the tougher bosses, it's still just four players. There's not really anything like a raid. And the boss strategies are still largely Dragon Quest strategies. Like, there's some positioning involved, but it's not as um, intensive as other games. Actually, Mike, the best way I could explain it is... It feels more like they took Final Fantasy XI and took all the things that worked and then crammed Dragon Quest in there to make it a Dragon Quest game. Do I... Did I use an herb while I was in there? I did. I can get by on five herbs. Really? Maybe Estark is an actual... Uh... Dragon Quest X is a thousand yen per month. Which works out to being about ten dollars. I got the sword. There is no shield in this. I don't want to go back to town to save, or back to... What's its place? I'll make another save state in case there's a crash. Dude, I want to kill the Dragon Lord so bad, I don't want to spend another couple hours leveling. I have heal more. Yeah, for some reason my um, video capture cables that work with my NES would not pick up the sound for the uh, streaming software. I am using a PlayStation 2 controller that has a USB adapter attached to it. I'm feeling some sanity returning to me since the end is in sight. I'm a ways off from 18. 
Here, let's ask Gwalen. 2,356. I'm not hunting metal slimes. I forgot to stop spell the Magiwiver and I deserve whatever happens to me. I could get that before fighting the Dragon Lord. Uh, I'm worried about still having enough MP by the time I get to him though. I'll probably run from red dragons. I don't want to fight them. Like, I just have this desperate need to finish the game now that I'm 13 hours in. I haven't played anything else today to break it up. That's okay, Ryu. Thank you for joining and watching for as long as you were able to. I appreciate it. You guys are helping to keep me together for this. was I'm trying to remember the route to get to the Dragon Lord. Ugh. Hey there, wizard. We're gonna mute you. Yeah, no. Man, I would kill for a wizard's ring. What's up, Ryu? I will offer my opinion on them if I've spent time on them. Shining Force 1. Um, definitely enjoyed it. Crap. 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 Give me a break. I played through Shining Force 1. I enjoyed it. I played through half of Shining Force 2. I never finished it. I was enjoying it. Uh, Shining in the Darkness. Love Shining in the Darkness. Didn't finish it. Beyond Oasis. Haven't played. Fantasy Star 4 is one of my top three RPGs alongside Dragon Quest 8 and Final Fantasy 6. I never played Quackshot. Shining Force 3 did not get all of its scenarios here. It only got Scenario 1 on the Saturn. I've also played Shining the Holy Ark and what was the other one? What was the other one? Shining Wisdom.
Yep, these are all RPGs that I'm talking about. I actually, I really wanted to do a uh, Shining Force Let's Play, but then Sega turned into a bunch of crazy people and went around taking down Shining Force videos, so I don't think it's going to happen. And I'm even hesitant to do uh, Fantasy Star videos at this point, if that's how they're going to treat their fans. See, they haven't taken down my PSO videos. Oh, Nintendo's idea is terrible. The thing is, Tesla, um, they're essentially stealing somebody else's work. It's the same as, like, you know, what if you went out and you bought a car? Say you went out and bought a Ford truck, and then you went home and you did a overview video of the Ford truck reviewing it, showing how everything worked, showing where everything was, and then Ford came in and said, hey, nice video, thanks for doing that. We're going to take all the ad revenue that that's going to be making. They are stealing somebody else's work. What was I doing? I'm trying to run away from this guy. That's what I'm doing. Except now I don't think I have enough MP to take on the Dragon Lord. Ah. Uh. It's alright. I'll hang out in here for a while. I might as well get experience points while I'm in here and see if I can figure out the course. I was going to risk it, because I'm tired. Oh, that's frustrating. My... Guide doesn't say where to go. <laughs> Well, yeah, I know to go to Dragon Lord. I'm just not sure how to get there. I've discovered just now that the Explorer's Guide does not show how to get to the Dragon Lord. It only has half of the dungeon. I think... I think I actually know where I am. Um, no. Yeah, I've eaten. I've been making sure to eat. Actually, it has been a while. I should probably eat again. It's 
stairs. Should I take these stairs? Where did these stairs go? These stairs brought me over here. Blue Dragon was not that bad. And now I'm back over here again. Thank you, Zix. Oh, okay, that's why I'm stuck in the loop. I see it. Yep, yep, okay. Alright, we're good. Ah, that's not what I needed. Totally have a handle on where to go now. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out in here and continue beating up these guys. And then I'm gonna jump out. Actually, I'm gonna have to come back to this point anyways. It's not like I'm closer to the Dragon Lord than I would be. Okay, yeah. Let's go heal up now. <laughs> At this point, the Dragon Lord would be like, Aren't you tired? Do you really want to fight? Don't you just want to rest? Put down the controller. Walk away. Nobody will blame you. I might fall for that right now. <laughs> no, I have to keep fighting. Okay, I'm going to grab something to eat real quick. I'll be right back with you guys. Turn with pizza. What's up, Amesworth? Yes, still going.
Star Wyvern, stop! Leave me alone, man! Just get out of the way! Just get out of the way! You don't want this! The Game Boy Color versions are essentially ports of the Super Nintendo versions. Especially Dragon Quest 1 and 2. The Dragon Quest 3 port is based on the Super Nintendo port, but they added in the medals and an extra um, dungeon on top of the Super Nintendo bonus dungeon. Negative. The most recent releases of Dragon Quests uh, 1, 2, and 3 are on the Game Boy Color. Unless you want to import the uh, Wii ports. No, it's my food. You cannot have it. Yes, I have. That show is wonderful. That's pretty easy to find on YouTube also, if you guys haven't seen it. Rocket Slime is a lot like Zelda. A lot like the older top-down uh, Zelda games, but um, Rocket Slime is actually the second in the series, and they added tank battles, which are amazing. I love Slime Mori Mori. No, oh, thanks for watching, Prince David. You know, I don't know, Kenshin. 
That's that's a weird one. Um, Joker 2 Professional didn't make its way over here, but it was really just kind of a uh, director's cut version. Oh man, Bahamut, you've been here for a while too. I miss Mountain Cave. Feels like so long ago. Because it was. Why is this Demon Knight giving me such a hard time? I'm saving my magic points. No, the fan translation for DQM 1 and 2 never got finished. I checked in on it a couple of weeks ago, and it looks like it got hung up last month. Or not last month, like last year. Shit. Fuck. I didn't even have a chance there. Saigon, I am disappointed. What? Are we really doing this? I am more than half leveled up. I should really just go finish another level. And I do have herbs. The problem was that um, I was actually above like 50 hit points when that Axe Knight hit. But he got to go before I did. He put me to sleep and then he just mashed my face in with an axe. There wasn't much I could do on that.
Dude, I blasted through Garenham Cave. It wasn't at all like my first LP, where I got lost for half an hour and then died. I'm trying too, man. It's been hard, but I'm trying. It is because I used a map, yes. Garenham's Tomb is actually really challenging without a map. I did it when I was younger. But I'm not trying... I didn't think I was trying to kill myself today, but apparently I am. I used to have such good memory, I memorized all the maps on this game. I could make it through Dragon Lord's Castle without a torch, without a map. Not anymore. Well, I just tried going after the Dragon Lord Mazzy, and I got ganked by a freaking Axe Knight, and now I'm going to die from a Star Wyvern. Because <clears throat> I'm trying to kill it before it kills me. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, the Princess's Cave is easy, though. <laughs> Mandark. <laughs> that was kind of a Mandark laugh, wasn't it? <clears throat> mm -mm. No, no, no. Uh, this might be revenge. Uh-uh, I only need one more hit. Don't you dare.
Thanks for stopping in, Kenshin. Max Knight, without fail, will always show up on this spot. Fastest XP in the game. That's the plan, if I don't get ganked by another Axe Knight in the first room. Yep. Oh, Cantlin? No, that's... It's a dangerous walk. I would honestly just rather repel. Although, yeah, once my MP hits like 50%, I suppose it would be better to just walk to Cantlin. That's a better idea. I cast Repel. I'm continuing lying to you guys. I don't use Repel at all, ever. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not using Repel. Repel I did not cast. Nope. Did not cast Repel. Not casting Repel now. The monsters are afraid of me, clearly. Check it out. Would you fight me? I've got this, like, blue horned helmet on, and this, uh, blue tunic, and this tiny shield, and what possibly might be a sword. Nah, man, people are into nerds right now. I imagine you will, because it'll take me a while to level, and even then, I'm still gonna have to walk to the Demon Lord. Or Dragon Lord. He was still blue in the Japanese version. 
Um, but the sprite wasn't as quite rounded out. Like, it's weird to say that, but the American sprite looks much, much better than the Japanese sprite. No, not hurt. Why would I do that? Who am I casting hurt against? Why would you even let me do that? No, he's blue in Japanese. I've played the Japanese release. Um, um, mother f <laughs> God! <laughs> really? I'm getting sick and tired of those guys. It's a red slime. I should probably not cast Repel again. No, I think the Axe Knights are still faster. I just... Hey, Lexi! Just like one more level should do this. I just, I got screwed over by that last Axe Knight. Because I went to stop spell him, stop spell failed, then he cast sleep on me and then proceeded, proceeded to beat me in the face three times with his axe. Are we on hour 14? God! I can't do this. <sighs> Thing is, using Hurt More on the Dragon Lord would be magic points that I can use on Heal More. Fourteen hours. Fuck. The completionist in me is asleep. Probably curled up in a straitjacket. Hey, it's a Star Wyvern. Yeah, well, 14 hours of an incredibly grindy ancient RPG will do things to your sanity. Uh... What? What is... Pfft? We didn't play WoW for 14 hours a day, even on raid nights. The most we'd raid was like four hours. And that wasn't so grindy. That was mostly just bad parties failing. <laughs> uh, I'm sucking it up. If I wasn't sucking it up, I wouldn't be here right now. Uh, I'm so close to level. Come on, come on. Get out of my way, Star Wyvern. 
I don't want to fight you. I still, I don't think I ever played WoW for more than eight hours at a time. Mother f heal more. Ugh. And now I'm missing. Things could be way, way worse. Absolutely. I could be in Roan. <laughs> Did we play 17 hours on that first day of Kata? Still though, that wasn't like the same kind of mindless grinding. <clears throat> That's right, we were hung over. <laughs> Launch night for Cataclysm, we were blitzed. Alright, Axe Knight, come here. No more of your sleep nonsense. <clears throat> I'm sick of these guys killing me. I've had, what, two deaths by Axe Knight now? One death by Dragon? Every time it hurts. Three hundred and ninety-two experience points to go! You gotta check out Amesworth? Who was it who saved me? Vestalence! That's why I'm dying, because Vestalence left. She was keeping me alive. And I got put to sleep by the Axe Knight. Stop it. Okay. And now it's time to cast Heal More. Yes, Granny Vesti. Granny Vesti, if you're watching this on YouTube later, come back. I need you. You were keeping me alive. I don't know how you were doing it, but come back. <laughs> uh, Vestalence. She was watching the screen for a while. Or the stream for a while. Well, I guess she was watching the stream on a screen, so that's not incorrect. I'm trying to create a paradox. Yes, is that okay? <laughs> I mean, we're looking at 14 hours now. I'm allowed paradox. Why did I attack him? Stop spell, stop spell, stop spell, stop spell, stop spell. You know what? Uh, it's time to go. Let's head over to Cantlin now. I will set at least a week-long vacation if Dragon Quest X gets an English release. And I'll probably be streaming most of it, too. Uh, 
Uh, I work. Um, I monitor data networks for an ISP. So believe it or not, this is actually still more engaging than my day job. Yeah, yeah, setting up the VPN was easy. I was like, oh, I've totally done this before. <laughs> Dude, I will party with everybody who wants to party on the Dragon Quest X English release. I'll be on constantly. I'll probably start a guild, too, since there are guilds in the game. You can freely jump between servers in Dragon Quest X. It works like the ones in Fantasy started. Where when you log in, you get to you get a list of servers, you see their population, you pick which one you want to play on, and it puts your character onto that server. I don't know what my guild will be called. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll plan something with like the Dragon's Den guys, and maybe it'll be like a Dragon's Den guild. If you're friends with somebody, you can chat across servers anyways. And if they're playing on a different server, it's as simple as um, changing servers. Your character goes with you. Your character is not trapped on a single server like most MMOs. I haven't heard of any free servers, and I wouldn't want to do anything with them anyways, just because uh, Dragon Quest really needs the support, so... No, no, characters saved online, it's just that they're not jerks about it. Well, that's the thing, you don't have to play with other people on... No, not heal, damn it. Damn it. You don't have to play with other people on Dragon Quest X. You can hire NPCs to play with. We are uh, well under that, actually. We're at like two experience points to level. Which means I'm going to get killed by a magic wither. What up? Boom! Level 18! You can't order the NPCs around, instead you set up um, basic strategies like you do in 9. Power increases by 12! Yes, that is a good freaking level. Response speed by 6. Maximum hit point by 13. We're breaking the 100 mark. Maximum magic points, 8. Yes, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you.